Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining me tonight and coming together to flow. Um, so last week we started exploring the eight limbs of yoga. We touched on the first limb, the yamas, and we touched on the first of five yamas, ahimsa, non-violence, non-harming. And that's sort of the foundation for the other four yamas. Um, the other four yamas are other ethical practices that ultimately help us not harm and not hurt and live with kindness. So today we're going to touch on the second yama. If you'd like, you can set yourself up in Sukhasana and just soften or close your eyes. Start to open up your ears a little bit as you settle in. So our second yama is Satya. Satya is non-lying or truthfulness. And literally speaking the truth to ourselves, to others. And then also cutting away illusion, cutting away the stories that we tell ourselves to convince us, convince us of non-realities and cutting to the truth. So today as we flow through our practice, I want you to explore Maybe those places in your life where you might be adding things and telling yourself a story that that's okay. When in fact, those things you're adding to your life might be causing you harm. And then in converse to that, maybe there's areas in your life where you are omitting certain things that you know are healthy and good for you but maybe you're lying to yourself. Maybe you're telling yourself those stories to convince yourself that it's okay. It's okay if I don't do that when really it's not. So just take a moment here and breathe, slowing down your breath, allowing your body to absorb this idea of satya, truthfulness. And as your mind begins to settle and quiet, your breath begins to deepen. Just notice if any specific situations pop into your mind of where you are telling yourself a false story, where you are living in illusion and in fact actually causing yourself harm because of it. that awareness that gives us the power to cut to the truth. Gently bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Honoring your heart center and the truth that resides within, bow your forehead to your hands. Keep your hands at your heart center today. Gently open your eyes and lift your chin. From here, interlace your fingers. Inhale your knuckles underneath your chin, your elbows to the ceiling. Use that as a little lift to get longer through your spine. Good, exhale, press your palms forward, round your spine, tuck your chin, spread between your shoulder blades. Keep that spreading between your shoulder blades. Start to take a head roll to the left. Bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Let your head sway all the way around, right ear, right shoulder, and then come back to center. Same thing, other side. Big head roll to the right, right ear, right shoulder. Take your head into your back space and then around. Once your head comes back to center with your fingers interlaced, inhale, stretch your arms overhead. Take a little time here, move around, creating that space again from your hips all the way through your armpits, your arms, your palms. Take another big breath in to lengthen. 
Exhale, twist right. Bring your left hand to your right knee. Your right fingertips behind you. Gaze over your right shoulder. As you twist right, draw your left hip back slightly so your hips and pelvis stay square. Take a breath in. Get taller from tailbone to top of head. Use this exhale to twist a little deeper. Inhale, center arms overhead. Exhale, twist left. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Left fingers behind you. Gaze over your left shoulder. As you twist, draw your right hip back slightly. Square off your pelvis. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer. Let's take that one more time. Interlace those fingers. Inhale, knuckles to your chin. Elbows lift. Exhale, press your palms forward, spread. Start that head roll to the left, all the way around. Take that head roll to the right. Once your head arrives back to center with your fingers interlaced, inhale, arms over head, get taller. Exhale, twist right. Stay here, take a breath in. Twist a little deeper as you exhale. Inhale, center arms overhead. Exhale, twist left. Stay for a breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center arms overhead. Exhale, your hands to prayer. And when you're ready your own way, make your way onto all fours. Take your time here. Find your alignment. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, and then tuck and spread your toes, spread your fingers wide. On an inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky, open through your chest. Exhale, thread your right arm underneath your left. Come to your right shoulder and relax your head on the floor. Press the floor away a little more with that left hand, draw your top shoulder back, open your heart to the ceiling. Option to stay here, or maybe take your left arm high, maybe half by with that left arm, drape it around you and grab your inner right thigh with your left fingers. Keep rolling your left shoulder open. Big inhale, get a little longer through your spine. Use that exhale to twist a little deeper. Nice, replace your left hand back to the floor. Inhale, unthread that right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, release. Other side, inhale, reach your left arm high. Exhale, thread your left arm through. Come on to your left shoulder and relax your head to the floor. Start by pressing into your right hand to draw your top shoulder back and spin your heart and gaze to the ceiling. Option again to take that right arm high or go for a half bind, trying to grab your inner left thigh with your right fingertips. Open your right shoulder wide and through your right collarbone. Take a breath in, get longer from your tailbone to head. Use that exhale to twist. Release your right hand back to the floor. Inhale, unthread your left arm back up to the sky. Exhale, release. Got a few series of cow and cat just to loosen up your spine. Inhale, cow, flip your sit bones high, pull your heart forward. Exhale, cat, tuck your tailbone, bring the top of your head closer to your tailbone as you press the floor away with your hands. Inhale, cow, wave through your spine, make it feel good. Exhale, cat, dome your upper back to the ceiling. One more, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. This time, inhale, cow, with those toes tucked under, Lead with your sit bones, exhale, downward dog. Move around here, option to close your eyes if you really wanna go inside and feel this down dog today. See what's going on. What does your body need to create a little more space? Maybe it's physical, maybe it's mental, a little shake of the head, a big sigh or flutter of the lips, check in. Use those moments to really refine your down dog. Hands are shoulder width apart, feet are hip width apart. Press the floor away with your hands, get longer through your armpits. Keep your sit bones reaching high as your heels melt towards the floor. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Breathe here. Press the floor away with your hands. 
pull your belly up towards your spine and imagine a little bit of cat in your back here. Can you spread between your shoulder blades and lift that space between your shoulder blades up to the ceiling as you drop your butt a little lower and closer to your heels? Keep engaging your core, open your feet a touch wider, little strength building here. Bring your left hand to the top of your left thigh for five, four, three, two, good, switch it up, left hand down, right hand to your right thigh for five, four, three, two, plank position, walk those feet back in until they're hip width apart, gaze forward, two tricep push-ups, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, press up, you can always lower your knees, one more, halfway down, press back up, this time lower all the way to the floor so nice untuck your toes walk your toes back a little bit get longer through your legs and then reach behind you interlace your fingers working towards a chest expansion if you can squeeze your palms squeeze your palms together you can keep a soft bend in your elbows if you need to roll your shoulders back keep your feet grounded inhale lift your chest Send your knuckles to the back wall and then maybe lift your knuckles a little higher towards the ceiling. Get wider through your collarbones as you draw your shoulder blades together. Anchor down through your feet so much that your legs activate, your knees lift off the floor. Pull your heart forward, tuck your chin slightly so the back of your neck is long. Now find all of those back muscles. Inhale, lift your chest two inches higher. Exhale, release. Forehead to the floor, hands under your shoulders, tuck your toes. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, press up to plank. And right back to downward facing dog. Pedal out your legs again. This time, slowly walk your feet to your hands. Once you arrive, open your feet hip width apart. Spread your toes. Soften your knees, let your belly drape over your thighs, grab hold of opposite elbows. Take what you need here. You might close your eyes again to really feel what's going on. You might bend one knee and the other, maybe sway side to side, front to back. If stillness feels good and breath is your focus, take that. And we're gonna take a few circles here. Release your fingers to the floor. Soften your left knee, try and keep your right leg long. Inhale your right fingers towards the wall behind you and then up to the ceiling, open your chest, gaze up. And then exhale your right fingers all the way to the front of the room and back down. Same thing, left side, soften your right knee, try and keep your left leg straight. Inhale your left fingers behind you, reach up to the ceiling, find that moment of twist and pause. And then exhale your left fingers forward, and around, great. A little quicker, two more times. Soften your left knee. Inhale that right arm around and up. Exhale that right arm around and down. Soften your right knee. Inhale your left arm around and up. Exhale that left arm around and down. One more time, right and left. Soften your left knee. Inhale your right arm around. Soften your right knee. Inhale your left arm around and release, soften through both knees. Slowly unroll all the way up to stand. Once you arrive, take a couple shoulder rolls back. Step your feet together, bring your big toes to touch, hands to prayer in front of your heart. Soften or close your eyes. Take a moment to physically find Tadasana. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Get longer through the backs of your legs. And as you press down into your feet, lift the fronts of your thighs. Feel that energy rebound up. Lift your kneecaps. Lift your quadriceps. Lift your hip bones up towards your lower ribs. Soften your shoulders. Re-soften your breath. And take another moment. Connecting to that idea of satya truthfulness, cutting through the illusion, cutting through the stories, 
telling ourselves and others the truth. Bow your forehead to your hands. Suri Namaskara A. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Lift your heart, see your thumbs. Lead with your heart, exhale, dive forward. Drop your head. Inhale, half lift, long spine. From your tailbone reaching back, get longer through the top of your head. Pinch your shoulder blades together, widen through your collarbones. Take another breath in. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga, take your time. Inhale, upward facing dog, lengthen from your toes to the top of your head. Exhale, downward facing dog, breathe here. Three breaths. Use every inhale to fill up. Use every exhale to empty. Inhale, rise high on your toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold and let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, press your palms. Today, exhale, fold right back over your legs. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, press the floor away with your hands. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. This is your personal moment, stillness and breath to observe. Notice your body, notice your mind. Heighten your power of awareness. Inhale, rise high on your toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold and let it go. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, press your palms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale, rise high on your toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold, let it go. This time, inhale, sit low, Utkatasana straight away. Surya Namaskar B. Breathe here, adjust as needed. You might widen your arms if your shoulders feel tight. Maybe sit a little lower if you feel super strong today. Shift your hips back, anchor through your heels, counterbalance that weight shift back by reaching forward through your heart and fingertips. Press your heels down and away, pull your belly in and tuck your tailbone slightly. Take a breath in, stay here, exhale, hands behind you and release your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion, squeeze your palms, open your heart. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Bring your forehead closer to your shins. Draw your shoulder blades together to widen your chest. Soften over your legs. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Listen closely, a little core challenge. From here, nothing changes. Just lower your right knee towards your right wrist and then bring that knee back up to your elbow. Twice more to your wrist 
and back up to your elbow. One more to your wrist, back up to your elbow. Yes, inhale, three-legged dog, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, cross your body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Lower your back knee to the floor. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your arms forward, up and back. Move your pelvis forward towards your front heel as you bend your front knee a little deeper. Try and scoop your belly in and up. Lift your heart and then interlace all but your index fingers, steeple mudra. Squeeze your biceps into your ears. Squeeze the pinky finger side of your palms together. Lift your heart higher to the ceiling and then maybe trace your gaze and fingertips closer to the wall behind you. Big inhale. Exhale, half splits. Bring your fingers to the floor. Scoot your back knee back just a touch and stretch your right leg straight. Take your time setting up. Anchor down through your right heel and then draw your right hip back away from your right heel. See if you can find more length between your heel and your outer right hip. Pull your heart forward towards your right toes. Take a breath in. Exhale, soften over your right leg. Two breaths, start to open up that right hamstring a little more, inhale, exhale, take another breath in, and out, inhale, half lift, come on to your fingertips, now let's take this transition slowly, as you exhale, crawl your fingers to the left, we're going to work into a modified side plank. Spin the outer edge of your right foot to the floor and then pivot your left heel to hide behind your left knee. Nice. Keep crawling your hands to the left. Bring your left fingers to the floor and reach your right arm overhead. Seal the outer edge of your right foot into the floor again. Feel that length through your entire right side. Press your pelvis forward slightly and keep lifting your right hip to the ceiling. Power up your legs, use your core. Inhale, gate pose. Come all the way up to your legs. Bring your right hand to your right leg. Reach your left finger straight up to the ceiling to start. As you press down into your left knee, press your hips forward slightly and then lengthen your left side. From there, maybe start to stretch your left fingers up and over to the right. Turn your gaze underneath your left arm. Big inhale. Exhale, modified side plank, left hand down, right arm all the way over. On the breath, inhale, gate pose, reach that left arm up. Exhale, modified side plank, right arm over. One more, inhale, gate pose, left arm up. Exhale, modified side plank. This time, crawl your hands all the way through center towards the front of your mat. Low lunge, be careful in this transition. Hop that left foot over, lift your left knee off the floor. Good. Lower your back heel to the floor. Inhale, cartwheel up, warrior two. Take your time. Feel width, feel strength here. Feet press down and out, arms extend out, but at the same time, suck up your inner thighs, lift your pelvic floor. Draw your shoulder blades together and slide them down your back. Reach a little more through your back fingertips to stack your ribs directly over your hips and then gaze over your right middle finger. As you soften your eyes, can you inhale into your heart? Can you exhale down and out through your feet? Inhale, prepare. Exhale, extended side angle. Right hand to the inside of your right foot, left arm to the ceiling. Turn your left palm to face the front of your space and reach your left arm overhead. Really working to lengthen our side waist today. Press your right arm into your right knee. Draw your outer right hip back slightly and spin your right ribs, your heart, your gaze to the ceiling. Power up your back leg a little more as you bend your front knee a little deeper. Stay strong in your legs. Inhale, reverse triangle. Stretch your right leg straight. Reach your right arm up and back. Turn your torso more to the side wall than the ceiling so you're really stretching your side instead of taking a back bend. Press your front foot down and forward. Reach your top arm up and back. Inhale into that right side. 
exhale, low lunge. Square off, take your time. Keep your left hand where it is. Inhale, low lunge, twist, right arm high. Exhale, chaturanga. Your flow, your version, take your time. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, down dog. Soften into the space of observer. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, pause there. Building that core strength, same thing here. Left knee to your wrist, back up to that elbow. Two more to your wrist, up to that elbow. You got it, one more to your wrist. Up to that elbow, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow across your body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot all the way up between your hands. Lower your back knee to the floor. Inhale, crescent moon. Reach your arms up and back. Keep your pelvis moving forward as you bend your front knee. Draw your left hip back, right hip forward, square off through your pelvis. Lift your heart. Reach through your fingers, steeple mudra. And release your fingers. Poke your index fingers to the ceiling. Squeeze your ears with your biceps. So the goddess Kali, this is also called Kali mudra, the shape you're making with your hands. The goddess Kali holds a sword. She uses that sword to slice through illusion. As you reach your arms up and back, lift your heart to the ceiling, Inhale, feel that sword through your arms and your fingers. Exhale, half splits, fingers to the floor. Scoot your back knee back a little and stretch your left leg straight. Take your time. Anchor through your left heel. Pull your outer left hip back. Get longer from your heel to your outer hip. Pull your heart towards your left toes. Inhale, more length through your spine. Exhale, soften over your leg. Two breaths, inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in and out. Inhale, half lift, come back to your fingers. Now you know where we're going, but take your time. Protect that bottom right knee. Crawl your hands to the right, working towards a modified side plank. Seal the outer edge of your left foot down. Hide that right heel behind your right knee. Keep crawling your hands to the right. Keep your right hand on the floor and reach your left arm overhead. Anchor through your left foot. Press your hips forward. Reach your left arm long and then spin your heart to the ceiling. Power up your legs, power up your core. Inhale, gate pose, rise up to stand on your legs. Bring your left hand to your left thigh. Start by reaching your right arm straight up to the ceiling. Feel that length from your right knee, your right side, all the way out your right fingers. And then maybe take that right arm up and over to the left a little more. Using our breath, inhale. Exhale, modified side plank, left arm reaches over. Inhale, gate pose, rise up, stretch. Exhale, modified side plank. One more, inhale, gate pose, rise up, stretch. Exhale, modified side plank, stay here. Bring your left hand to the floor. Crawl your hands to the left, low lunge. Hop that right foot to the right. Lift your right knee off the floor. Good, seal the outer edge of your right foot to the floor. Press down through your feet, inhale, cartwheel up, warrior two. Anchor down through your left heel, relax your left toes. Seal the outer edge of your right foot, lift the inner arch of your right foot away from the floor. As you bend your front knee a little deeper, add that extra reach through your back fingertips, line your rims over your hips. Soften your shoulders. Soften your gaze. Can you find your breath? Observe. Inhaling truth into your heart. Exhale strength down and out through your feet. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, extended side angle. Left hand to the inside of your left foot. Right arm to the ceiling. 
Turn your right palm to face the front of the room and reach your right arm all the way overhead. As you press your left knee open with your left arm, pull your outer left hip back slightly. That might cause your right hip to roll towards the floor. That's okay. Keep that happening, but then spin your torso in opposition. Left ribs, heart, and gaze to the ceiling. Power up your back leg a little more. Bend your front knee a little deeper. Inhale, reverse triangle. Stretch your left leg straight. Reach up and back with that left arm. Turn your torso more to the side wall than the ceiling. Press your front foot down and forward. Lift your left hip crease to the ceiling. Inhale into your left side body. Exhale, low lunge. Hands to the floor. Keep your right hand where it is. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm high. Exhale, chaturanga, your version. Take your time. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Notice if you've already seen any stories or illusions pop up. Are these stories truthful? Or are they harmful? Inhale, rise high on your toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step forward, jump your feet to your hands. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, fold and let it go. Running through that one more time. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Stay here, inhale, get wider through your collarbone. And on an exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Here we go, stay. Right knee to your wrist. Back up to your elbow, two more. To your wrist. Back up to your elbow, one more. To your wrist, up to your elbow, inhale, three-legged dog, yes. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, cross your body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Lower your back knee. Inhale, crescent moon with steeple mudra right away. Lift up, reach back, open your heart. Exhale, half splits, fingers to the floor. Scoot your back knee back a little, stretch your front leg straight. We're staying for two breaths again. Enjoy, inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath in. And out. Inhale, half lift, be safe on this transition. Exhale, working towards modified side plank. Crawl your hands to the left. Pivot that left heel behind you. Seal the outer edge of your right foot. Bring your left hand alongside your left body. Sweep that right arm up and over. Good, inhale, gate pose. Rise up, reach left arm up and over. Exhale, modified side plank. Right hand reaches. Inhale, gate pose. Lift and arc. Exhale, modified side plank, one more. Inhale, gate pose. Exhale, modified side plank, take your time. Bring your hands to the floor, low lunge facing front. Bend your right knee, hop that left foot to the left. Seal the outer edge of your left foot down. Inhale, cartwheel up, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, right hand to the floor, left arm all the way up and over. Inhale, reverse triangle, stretch your right leg straight, reach your right arm up and back. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Inhale, low lunge, twist, right arm high. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Here we go. Knee to wrist, up to your elbow. 
two more, wrist, elbow, keep pressing the floor away with your hands, wrist and elbow, inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, left knee, right elbow, inhale, three-legged dog, exhale, step your left foot forward, lower your back knee, and one breath, steeple mudra, inhale, crescent moon, reach those arms up and back. Exhale, half splits, fingers to the floor. Scoot your back knee back a little, stretch your front leg straight. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath in. And out. Inhale, half lift, take your time. Exhale, modified side plank. Seal the outer edge of your left foot, pivot that right heel behind your knee. Crawl your hands towards the right and reach your left arm up and over. On the breath, inhale, gate pose, rise up, reach your right arm up and over. Exhale, modified side plank, left arm lengthens. Inhale, gate pose, right arm up and over. Exhale, modified side plank, one more. Inhale, gate pose. Exhale, modified side plank, bring your left hand down, crawl your hands to the left, low lunge facing front, and hop that right foot to the right. Seal the outer edge of your right foot down, inhale, cartwheel up, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, left hand to the floor, reach your right arm up and over. Inhale, reverse triangle, stretch your left leg straight, reach up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Hands to the floor. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm high. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Slow down, check in. Take what you need, a flutter of the lips, an open mouth sigh, a petal of the legs. We're adding on. Inhale, rise high in your toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, hands behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. Take a breath in. Exhale, release your arms. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here's a change. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, hurdler's pose. As you bring your right knee to your right elbow, bend your arms like chaturanga. Make a shelf for your right leg and gaze to the right. Stay here or pull your weight forward to your fingers. Lighten up your back leg so it floats off the floor for three, two, one. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Stay on the ball of your back foot. Here's another change. Press down into your feet. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Breathe. Draw your right hip back, left hip forward. Bend your front knee. Draw your belly and front ribs in towards your spine. Soften your shoulders, soften your eyes, find your breath. Inhale, exhale, high lunge with airplane arms. Extend your arms alongside your body. Engage your back, squeeze your shoulder blades wide into your chest. Pull your heart so far forward that you fly into airplane dakasana. Shift onto your right leg. Lift your left leg parallel to the floor. Soften your right knee a little, roll your left hip down, square your hips off to face the floor. Keep pulling your belly and front ribs in and up. Flex your left foot, extend out your left heel, reach out the top of your head. Stay for three, one-legged mountain coming up in two, and one. Inhale, one-legged mountain, draw your left knee into your chest, 
reach your arms overhead. Stabilize here. Press down through your right foot, get taller through the top of your head. Re-soften those shoulders, re-soften your eyes. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, eagle on the left, Garudasana. Try and double wrap your left leg over. Try and double wrap your left arm under. Squeeze your inner thighs and arms together and reach your elbows up shoulder height. Move your forearms away from your face. Spread between your shoulder blades. Sit lower in your hips. Pull your belly and front ribs back towards your spine. Stay for three. One-legged mountain with eagle arms in. Two. And one. Keep these arms. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Draw your left knee into your chest. Exhale, warrior two with eagle arms. Big step back with your left foot. Good, adjust your legs, find your stance. Eagle arms, lift those elbows, shoulder height. Keep moving your forearms away from you so you spread between your shoulder blades. Same head rolls we took in the beginning of class. Take your head to the right and all the way around. Same thing, left. Head roll left. All the way around. Good. Inhale, warrior two arms wide and through your arms. Stretch your front leg straight. Setting up for Trikonasana. Turn those back toes in a little bit more and make sure your right toes are pointing straight forward. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, Trikonasana. Shift your hips back. Bring your right hand to your right shin, left arm to the ceiling. Take up so much space in this pose. Press your feet down and away from each other. Send your tailbone to the wall behind you, the top of your head to the wall in front of you, and then open your heart to the ceiling. Option to stay here, or if you'd like a little challenge today, reach your left arm overhead and add your right arm to match it. Keep spinning your heart to the ceiling. Press your feet down and away for three. Reverse warrior in, two, and one. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your front knee, reach your right arm up and back. Exhale, runner's lunge. Bring both arms inside your right foot. Square off your hips, lower your back knee to the floor. Ah, coming towards your forearms. Take your time, bend your elbows as much as you can. If you have a block or a pillow, you can rest your forearms on. That helps if you can't quite reach the floor. Find your runner's lunge. Be honest, be true, and then close your eyes and breathe. Use your breath to send a little love, a little tenderness to those places of tightness. Take your time, come back up onto your hands. Now step by step, stop wherever you need to. First step, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. This might be where you stay. Second set, sliding your right hand to the back of your right calf and trying to work your right shoulder underneath your right leg. That might be where you stay. Perhaps you extend both arms out into airplane. Breathing here, final phase, maybe binding your arms behind your back. Wherever you are, pull your heart forward, stretch back through your back heel, stay for three, four, two, and one. Low lunge, release your hands to the floor, frame your front foot. Keep your left hand where it is. Inhale, Vashistasana, side plank. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Stack your right leg on top. Any variation or modification, welcome. Breathing here for three. Rainbow arc your hips to the sky for two. And one, chaturanga, take your time. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in down dog.
Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, hurdler's pose. As you bring your left knee to your left elbow, bend your arms like chaturanga, make a shelf for your left leg and look left. Stay here or pull your heart forward. Shift to your fingers, lighten your back toes for three, four, two, and one. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow, cross your body. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Stand the ball of your back foot. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Breathe here. Left hip back, right hip forward. Deep bend in that front knee, but then try and lift your belly off your front thigh. Soften through your shoulders, your face, your breath. Inhale. Exhale, high lunge with airplane arms. Engage your back muscles. Set yourself up for success here. Shoulder blades together, heart pulling forward. Engage your focus as you shift into full airplane. What are you looking at? Soften your eyes there and breathe. Soften your left knee a little, spin your right hip down to face the floor. Keep pulling your belly and front ribs in. Lengthen out your right heel, out the top of your head. Stay for three. One-legged mountain in, two, and one. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Right knee lifts, arms overhead. Settle, stabilize. Press into your left foot, pull your belly in and up. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, Garudasana Eagle. Bend your left knee. Try and double wrap your right leg over. Try and double wrap your right arm under. Squeeze your inner thighs. Squeeze your arms. Lift your elbows, shoulder height. Staying vertical today, pull your belly and front ribs in as you move your forearms away from you. Find that spread between your shoulder blades. Sit a little lower for three. One-legged mountain in, two. Keep these eagle arms. And one, inhale, one-legged mountain with eagle arms. Keep these arms. Exhale, warrior two with eagle arms. Big step back with that right leg. Deep bend in your left knee. Keep pulling your forearms away from your chest. Draw your belly in. Relax your head and take a head roll to the left. And reverse, head roll right. Inhale, warrior two arms open wide. Stretch your left leg straight and set up for triangle. Turn your right toes in a little more. Make sure those left toes are pointing straight forward. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, trikonasana. Shift your hips back. Bring your left hand down, right arm high. And then fill up this space. Press your feet down and out. Get longer from your tailbone to the top of your head. Feel that width across your chest and out your arms. Open your heart. Option to stay here. Or maybe add those arms. Right arm overhead, left arm matching. Keep pressing your feet down and away. Spin your heart to the ceiling. Stay for three. Reverse warrior in, two, and one. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left arm up and back, bend your left knee. Exhale, runner's lunge. Bring both arms inside your left foot, square off. Lower your back knee, take your time. Settle in, working towards your forearms or wherever you're at today. Relax your head, close your eyes. You might notice as we peel through the layers, as we dig up heat and transform our bodies, it's easier to cut through the illusion. Once we get out of our own way, sometimes it's easier to see the truth. Step by step, come back up onto your hands. First step, tucking your back toes and lifting your back knee. This might be where you stay, opening up through those hips and groins. Maybe take your left hand to the back of your left ankle or calf 
and try and work your left shoulder underneath your left leg. Perhaps extending your arms long out to the sides, left and right. Pull your heart forward, reach back through your back heel. Maybe add that bind behind your back. Wherever you are, breathe for three, four, two, and one. Low lunge, release your hands to the floor. Frame your front foot. Keep your right hand where it is. Inhale, Vashistasana, side plank on the right. Stack your left leg on your right leg or any variation or modification. Good, keep rainbow arcing your hips high. Breathe for three. You got it. Two. And one, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Inhale, shift forward to plank. We have a slow count of five to take it to the floor in five, four, three, two, and last. Untuck your toes. Down your asana, bend your knees, reach back for your feet or your ankles. Press your pelvis down. Use that as an anchor and then inhale everything else away from the floor. Kick your shins to the back wall to help lift your chest. Lift your feet to the ceiling to help lift your thighs. Keep your pelvis pressing down as you fly higher. Take one more breath, breath in, lift everything up. Exhale, release. Let your legs go, bring your hands under your shoulders. Gently press back in the child's pose. Walk your hands to your knees. Roll up to sit on your heels. Sit off to one side and swing your legs around to the front of the room. Coming into ankle to knee. Let's start with our right shin on the bottom, left shin on top. Flex your feet. This is too much. You can always bring that left leg in front and sit cross-legged. Take a breath in, lengthen your spine. And when you're ready, fold forward. your way back up to sit and I just want you to cradle this left leg so see if you can wrap your right arm around your left foot your left arm around that knee and just kind of give it a hug you can move it around a little bit loosen up you feel comfortable there scoop your hands underneath that shin that calf and same thing just a little cradle a little love to that left hip we're gonna work into compass pose here. Grab your left foot with your right hand and then use that right hand on your calf. Sorry, that's your left hand. Left hand on your left calf to try and sneak your left shoulder underneath that left leg. Just like we did in that lunge earlier. From there, right hand will reach around and grab the pinky toe side of your left foot. Extend your left fingers to the floor, and then maybe start to look underneath your right arm and stretch that left leg long. Turn your gaze to the ceiling. Play around. See what happens for three, two, and carefully release. Nice, you guys. Let's take ankle to knee on the other side. Bring your left shin in front, stack your right shin on top. Take a few moments as you breathe to let that side go. Sit up tall, and when you're ready, fold forward. Use your breath here to open up your hips. Soften through your pelvis. Thank 
other way up to sit carefully, cradling your right leg. Bring your left arm around your foot, your right arm around that knee, and just give a little hug, little circles, whatever feels good. If this feels good, then maybe slip those hands underneath your calf and shin, and same thing, just a little hug, some circles, loosen up. And then we'll try that compass pose. Just see what happens on this side, no expectations. Take that left hand to your right calf or ankle, and then work your right shoulder underneath your right leg. From there, left hand comes around to the pinky toe side of your right foot. Extend your right fingers out to the side, and then maybe as you stretch that right leg long, you can look underneath your left shoulder, opening your chest to the ceiling for three, four, two, and one, slowly release. Excellent, you guys, open your legs out wide. Upa Vista Konasana. Knees and toes to the ceiling. When you are ready, option to walk your fingers forward or grab onto your big toes. I'm using this as a palate cleanser for your hips, for your spine. Make your way back up to sit. Take your time, close your legs, and make your way all the way onto your back. As you do so, hug your knees in towards your chest. And let your knees fall to the left, look to the right. Let your bones get a little heavier. Let go of effort and just start to surrender into the floor. Same thing, other side, knees right, look left. Nice and easy. Come back to center with your lips. Wrap your arms around your shins. Bring your forehead to your knees. Curl everything into a tight ball as you inhale. With your exhale, let go, release, melt into the floor. Final rest, Shavasana. I will cue you out of this pose, so surrender, release, let go right here.
and side to side. And when you're ready, hug your knees in towards your chest. Roll to your right side. And as you make your way up to a comfortable seated position, bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Close your eyes. Taking a moment to reassess the idea of satya, truthfulness. Exploring those areas where you might be adding something harmful or omitting something helpful because you've convinced yourself that that's okay. Slice through the illusion, find the truth, and honor it. The great enemy of the truth is very often not the lie, deliberate, contrived, and dishonest, but the myth, persistent, persuasive, and unrealistic. John F. Kennedy. Divine light in me. Bows to the divine light in me. Namaste.